I have physical products, tangible goods, the antique ritual once lost to the ceremony of progress. Tonight we'll be asking if these things still matter alongside Brian Coney, Andy Walsh, Ray Wingnut, the Altered Hours, but mainly we'll be enjoying the rum-shaking ruckus of the Rossangano family. Yeah. <laughs> Rossangano family, I'm Danny Carroll. This is The Parlour, capturing DIY spirit and providing you an attic-based insight into the world of independent music in Ireland. Coming up on tonight's show, we're going to have Brian Coney from That There Thin Air magazine, as well as Andy Walsh from Them Little Gem record store and record label. As well as that, we have a wholeheartedly hypnotic performance from the Altered Hours alongside Ray the Kid A Wingnut. But to begin tonight's show, so they came here from Snowy Limerick, we have the Rossangano family. I ripped up a lot of beer mats to do that. MC God knows. My name is John, we got Merley. Thanks lads for coming on to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Lads, it's been a crazy 12 months for you from releasing the Rossangano family album to supporting Snoop Dogg, Run the Jewels, doing Body and Soul. Where's your focus at the moment in 2015? Uh, what, what are you guys focusing on? Getting Snoop Dogg to support us. Yeah? <laughs> that is the plan. That is the ultimate goal. Gotta reverse the order yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give yeah. him the small dressing room this time around. Getting that kind of validation though, I mean, does that give you an itch to go bigger in what you're doing, to do more collaborations, to widen the net and, and, and you know, get more people listening to what you're doing? It must be great. Yeah, it, it is. I mean, I think it's something that we all really enjoy doing. Um, and for the next year, it's kind of, I suppose, rather than aspiring to, oh, we want to play with this person or, you know, um, kind of, I suppose, like take allegiances to other bands or other acts. We're kind of like, oh, let's actually totally do our own thing from start to finish. Yeah. So the whole thing that we're working on at the moment is we've just recently become Ross and Gano family. And that's not Rosango, that's Ross and Gano, because a lot of people are uh, mispronunciating it at the moment. And uh, yeah, so we're working on an album at the moment. And we are about a half a song into that. Okay, yeah. slow progress so far. <laughs> but I suppose like going back to uh, first having an interest in hip hop, like you're from Ennis, you're from Shannon. Right. How did you guys uh, get an outlet for your interest in hip hop if you're growing up in those places? Um, well, it is pretty, like, it's a small town, Shannon. <laughs> we, we got a town center. Yeah, yeah, that's that's like the, the place to hang out in, uh, in the airport. We got Shannon Airport, which is pretty cool. I hear the airport. Um, but uh, for me, I felt like it was uh, an amazing place um, to actually not be influenced by anybody, but be influenced by everybody. I found so many different pieces of art that I was like, okay, I'll take a bit from here, a bit from here. And I didn't want to be from anywhere else but Shannon, which is weird because I'm like, I would rather be from Shannon. Okay. And I suppose in terms of, you know, uh, avoiding imitation of others, like at what point did you feel like you, you found your voice as a rapper? Or was that always there with you from the get-go? Um, that's a very good question, Danny. Man, Jesus. I try. I, try. <laughs> <laughs> I don't just rip up beer mats. <laughs> um, it's, I think it was, I don't know, it, it sounds weird, but it's like one of those destiny moments when you meet somebody who gets what you do and where you're going and that was when I met John because it's like I had already been messing about with what I was doing but I had no kind of focus onto all those different sounds and meeting John who's like somebody who's older than me and could be like ah I think that that's only, only a little bit <laughs> yeah, yeah, a tiny yeah. don't make my look like a old man out here yeah, so. yeah, 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 just a tiny bit um he's a tiny bit older than me awesome <laughs> Well, he's um, definitely taller. <laughs> but yeah, um, but hanging around with him, he showed me a lot of different influences and said, you know what, it's deeper in this way, or this is a bit shallow, or you can, do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, and he yeah, kind yeah. of merged itself into like, ah, oh, I, get, I get me even, mm. I get me even more, so. Me coming from a, a bigger town, like I come from quite a big city called Limerick. So <laughs> <laughs> it, was a, it was a different thing. I never look at myself as just a rapper. I, I, I love music. It, it doesn't matter what shape or form it comes in. I love music. So I think I always t try to look beyond the MC part of it. So uh, that's why I never restricted myself to being a one particular type of MC. I was, uh, I'm a musician who doesn't play any instrument as such, but my instrument is here. So whatever I can do with this, 
I focused on that. So I think that's where I found the artist that I am today. Now we never know what I could become tomorrow. I'm still working on it. Okay. And for Nusangano family, you've described it, John, before as community music. Like, is there a central message or ambition you have for the collective that you're trying to get across to people? Um, yeah, well, I suppose uh, we have a new track which is coming pretty soon. You're all about to hear it in a few minutes. Um, and it's uh, it's something that's really close to our hearts. Like, we based it on philosophy, and a lot of the time when we're talking in the car, we have very deep philosophical chats on the way up and the way down. Sometimes like, we even get lost on purpose. Yeah, <laughs> so we can delay the journey. But there was one conversation that we had, and we were kind of... Because, like, we're all into, you know, like, our philosophy and talking about society and, I suppose, just questioning things. And there was one particularly deep conversation that we had. And we could basically condense down all philosophy and all sociology, and we basically put it into, like, two lines. And one was, like, uh, don't be a waste man, just be a good human. And that was it. I don't think I can give it any more of a better introduction. Let's hear Rusangano family with Waste Man. Yeah, a little man around the corner come. Hey, boss, you know you had a The chorus is pretty simple. If you want to take that time, make it. I need everybody in this room to say, don't be a waste man. Music challenge framework before us. Fantastic. Maybe after us. And we will make sure it's said right during our period, so that's what we work on, you know? We we'll stay together next week. Just be a good human, don't be a waste man, do the right thing, don't be a waste man, don't hate on man, don't be a waste man, pick up the trash if you wanna be a waste man, just be a good human, don't be a waste man, do the right thing, don't be a waste man, don't hate on man, don't be a waste man, pick up the trash if you wanna be a waste man, don't be a waste man, don't be a waste man, don't be a waste man, pick up the trash if you don't be a waste man, 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 pick up the trash if you wanna be a waste man. Also, the waste man t-shirts will be on sale. Yeah. As soon as the single comes out as well. You got Mr. Big Man? Two weeks. For the misappropriation. <laughs> Rubbish, compass, anything you find in the trash can. Rubbish, recycle, to regret you cause it cash can. Vindicate all, all the nonsense. Leaving the majority of hexes upside down. I shout my absence. Wanna be kind of prominent with an accent? With a gun, no recycle. Don't be a waste man, don't be recycle. That's like turning the YouTube, YouTube comments. comments. I do for the art, not the comments. And I took a girl off on Mali when I say I wanna make a couple of And I took a two dots, make up. But I said they wanna be fly and rub. Where's my stop telling me that I can't leave a dream that you kills? Everybody calling a sip. Send me the unit with the problems of a job to pay a piece only to get. And the mean I'm cold inside like it is a sack Cause it gets no warmer with one degree It gets no warmer with two degrees So I go do bad with 50 degrees When I go travel with general degree I generally be a waste man I'm making for the F-O-V-E M-E-N-T Two dance MCs and I waste my T's And I do it for my seat and my paper Go and make my castle cause like Blackstar company Don't be a waste man, watch your company grow Just be a good human Don't be a waste man, do the bad thing Don't hate on man Louder! Pick up the trash if you wanna be a waste man. Just be a good human. Don't be a waste man. Do the right thing. Don't be a waste man. Hey, old man. Don't be a waste man. Pick up the trash if you're gonna be a waste. Just be a good human. Don't be a waste man. Do the right thing. Don't be a waste man. Don't be a waste man. Don't be a waste man. Just be a good human. Don't be a waste man. Do the right thing. Don't be a waste man. Don't be a waste man. I tell them I rap for the same. The street eyes like high power, track clubs, don't do the text for towards your face. You want in hate. Quest love like a root in the rhythm section. With Sagano, that's what I say in mentions. GKMC and yeah, not go keep my city. One time for L City. Breaking them low with his rhythm. Ah. Let it waste my no we in rhythm. Ah. Don't make much men on the rhythm. Soft, get my feet like a plane. Sport. They don't want to see you succeed. No. To represent the K here. None. Looking for me on the waste my thing for the teens in the disco, tell them grow. For the dogs over, people shall not publish it. I'm going to go as a star by the money when I cry. So many tears, so many nights. I'm a stranger, her fights, but if I. When there's salt here, you're tough fat. When there's low fat or high fat, the waste man vibes don't fly. fly. Just be a good human. I told them, sick back, they don't wanna take my samples. Waste man, wanna make me an example. Got a big hair, but I still stay humble. Can't knock the hassle if you know the struggle. So drop your mask if you truly a Batman, no Batman. This ain't the ball, you can't fool man. This ain't October, do the first time. So just be a good human. Do the right thing. Don't hate on man. Pick up the trash if you wanna Let's be a waste man. Be a good human. Do the right thing. Don't hate on man. Pick up the trash if you wanna be a waste man. Just be a good human. Don't be a waste man. Do the right thing. Don't be a waste man. Don't hate on one. Don't be a waste man. Pick up the trash if you gonna be a waste man. Don't be a waste man. Don't be a waste man. Don't be a waste man. Pick up the trash if you wanna be a waste man. Just be a good human. Thank you.
course, the Russell and Gano family with Waste Man. We're going to have another track from them before the end of the show. Also, we have a bonus track streaming on our website. The, the songs are like salmon streaming on theparlor.tv. Anyway, let's get physical. Physical! I want to get physical. Physical! Let's get into physical. Physical! Those, of course, being the zeitgeist capturing words of Olivia Newton-John from 1981, sung at a time when <laughs> music industry manufacturing was an all-time high. Vinyl sales and manufacturing was an all-time high, and indeed, the biggest threat to the music industry at that time was the scourge of home taping. Now, two men sitting right next to me here who have a similar spandex-stretching enthusiasm for the physical products are Brian Coney of Thin Air Magazine, Andy Walsh of Little Gem Record Store and Record Label. Thanks very much for being on the show, guys. Thanks for having us. Brian, if you could start by asking yourself, um, you were previously involved with AU Magazine. Yes. And then, I suppose, I think on May the 2nd, 2013, you would have set up nice. Thin Air Magazine, I as I understand it. Indeed. Um, I suppose, starting up uh, a magazine, were you definite about wanting to make it physical and have a physical reason? Uh, not at all. Uh, it, the, the website basically came about because I was sad that AU had ended and I wanted to continue in some sort of capacity writing about music and stuff because it didn't contribute elsewhere apart from Across the Line, which is in Belfast, it's the BBC thing. So basically contributors from AU magazine decided to meet up in a bar in Belfast. There was obviously different people in Dublin and Cork, etc. But we met up and it became a website and then a year and a half later it became a magazine. Mm -hmm. Physical. Uh, going for, I suppose, the physical approach with a magazine, do you find that the contributors up their game a bit? Because maybe the magazine in physical form has more validity, you know, they're, yeah. they're more of a voice of authority. Then. Absolutely. I mean, you think of how many magazines, music and culture magazines, is there in the country. And you think how many music and culture websites are there. There's always more websites. So I, ha I, I suppose I have noticed, um, both the editors, myself and Lorena, uh, have noticed that there is definitely better content flowing uh, like salmon through the sea into the magazine. And, and long may they continue yeah, here's downstream. I'd like to think so. <laughs> Andy, if I could come to yourself uh, starting up Little Gem Record Store on the 4th of December 2014. Well remembered. <laughs> <laughs> what prompted you to start, I suppose, a, a local independent record store? Um, we just felt like Dublin needed it. We had uh, Elastic Witch on Abbey Street that Gib had gone for a couple of years, which is great. Yeah. Um, he closed his doors in April 20th. 2014. Very, like, I mean, close, people could watch close. this back and just get complete <laughs> reference points for an historical essay. <laughs> so, since Gibb was gone, there was pretty much nothing on the north side. I mean, Tower was on, uh, they moved onto Dawson Street. There was a HMV, I think, had closed, and then they reopened recently on Henry Street. But as for supporting independent bands, not just from Ireland, but uh, particularly from Ireland, but from all over, there was nothing. So, if you wanted to get something, I suppose you'd have to go online and buy it. Mm, takes a while to get here, it's more expensive. You don't have much choice. For sure. I mean, mm. is it difficult to be financially viable when you're so focused on supporting local acts? I mean, it is a great cause. I think everyone here, you know, thinks you're doing great work, but yeah, obviously yeah. In, order, in order to sustain itself, can that be a tricky balance? Uh, it's not financially viable at the moment. Uh, we're making a loss and we're paying the bands on the sales, which is better than any of the other record stores do which is great. Um, we're giving our time and our effort and all the rest to it, but uh, we're not really making any money. Well, I suppose like looking at the products themselves, though, they do provide certainly, a, again, a, more of a definite document of what people are doing. And Absolutely. that's something that you've really focused on. If you can tell you, us a little bit about it. If you, if you like an album, go buy it, you know? Like, sure. you know people stop to buy albums. People go on Spotify and go on YouTube and like, that's great, but what if your song gets taken down, you know? Mm. Like, what, you know I'll send you a link. What's a link? You know, and you got to hold it in your hand if you really love it. You know, show that, us, that's me, but that's a lot of people. Show us some of the things. things you brought in. Show us a little gem. Uh, here. Well, Explain this this technology you're we, pioneering. We invented this little gem player to go for stuff that we're bringing out on our record label, Little Gem Records, which is the shop as well. It's pretty much a little cassette with uh, artwork and everything specific for your. There you go. <laughs> it's got a little switch on the side. The light comes on. And you put your headphones in. Is a play and a pause and a volume. So we put out an album on one of these. It's, it's most pretty great. Portable listening device possible, basically. Quality is amazing and it means we can do small runs of them, which the big killer at the moment for bands, independent bands, if they want to get a record pressed, you gotta get like two hundred and fifty or three hundred pressed, which is great, but you know, 
you're probably not going to sell them all within enough time to put out another one. Yeah. There, there you go. Just okay. so you know. Um, what's planned for the future for you guys, um, both with Thin Air and Little Jump? You go first. Yeah, we're looking at doing something together, maybe putting on some gigs together and doing some cool stuff together. Um, we've got loads more releases coming out on Little Gem Records. Um, we're putting out stuff that's already been put out that wasn't in a physical format as well. Um, it's a really great band called Heartsick Groans from Sweden. They're a pop band. They're fantastic. They've had, I think, four or five EPs in the last five years. And we're going to do a best of the Heartsick Groans on a little gem because they've done them all on online as Bandcamp or whatever, which is great. But yeah, going back a nice to the... Yeah, collecting things and making it tangible. Yeah, the other thing about collect. fetishizing and the thing about collecting your magazines, like, you're probably going to miss your magazines in 20 years because the thing is, there's a website is there, but it's not going to be there forever. And even if it is, you know, it's a screen, it's your computer. A magazine or a record, you know, you can give that to your kids. You know, yeah. that'll it's like be keeping a diary, isn't it? Like people you, you'll have it forever. Yeah. It's a really great thing. That's true. I might start again. Thanks. We'll have to end it on that cliffhanger of whether you're going to start collecting <laughs> again or not. Yeah, I'm sure. Lads, Andy, Brian, thanks very much for coming Thank on the show. So. Thanks, Cheers. Thank you. Now, in this particular moment, we're going to enjoy a time-bending performance from the Altered Hours. They being a Cork Quintet, currently finishing their debut album. They played in Wings recently enough, and Ray Wingnut was there to meet them. Let's have a look. How's it going? I'm Ray Wingnut, and I am here in this lovely, small, little, snug, weird, enclosed room in Whelan's with Cahill McGowan and Kevin Terry from the band Altered Hours. How's it going, lads? Very well. So you were a four piece, now you're a five piece. And uh, like you're, you're based in Cork, and I suppose you would have a reputation as being a Cork band. Yeah. But you're not all from Cork, no? No. Are any of us from Cork, actually? None of None us. None of us are actually from Cork. Excellent. Yeah. So, so listen, We all just live in Cork, you know, yeah. it's just where we went to try and probably just play music and go to whatever people went to college and stuff like that. Good stuff. And of course, I think you, like, you know, over, like, you've had a colourful history over, let's say, the four years of your existence, like, you know what I mean? And I think one of the most interesting things that you did, like, you broke new ground, I think, within Cork City, in the sense that you, uh, you founded the Sample Studios rehearsal space. Yeah, well, we were part of it. You know, yeah. there was a, there was a we, we formed a collective with a few people and another band called uh, Trumpets of Jericho, who are, yeah. who don't, don't play it together anymore, but... Yeah, we start, We just needed a practice space, really, and there was this huge, empty ex tax office which just seemed perfect. So, someone got the keys to it, and we were kind of in there for like three months, unofficially, which was kind of good fun. And then we kind of had to set up a thing and pay a certain amount of rent to the construction company who owned it. And yeah, it was really good. We were there for like two and a half years. I think it actually formed the band that because we had just won space for the first time. That was ours. Yeah. And uh, yeah, there's Rake's artists in there, all all mediums. And, it's really good. Speaking of local scene and stuff like that, uh, I'm really interested, like, like I say, you've had a colourful background in your four years of existence. And I think one of the most interesting things is that you have worked with many different kinds of labels. So let's say your first EP, you brought out yourselves, mm -hmm. yeah, on CD. Mm -hmm. And then was it, was it like after that, that Anton Newcomb's label put out the next? Yeah, you put next out uh, Sweet Energy? General, yeah. yeah. And a so recordings is the a yeah, recordings. Yeah, yeah. So that's an international label, obviously. Yeah. Mm. He's coming from America. And then the follow-up was a seven-inch single on Art for Blind Records, which yeah. is another local one, back to Cork and underground and stuff like that. Yeah. Very much DIY. And who knows where it's going to go next? So my question is that what was your experience like with each of those? And going forward, what do you think is your best experience of a label? Or, okay. You know, yeah, like putting it out yourself was like really easy and like small and then suddenly we, we were put out on A recordings which was just like, like, I don't know, it's just, they're all different things. I, I think what our, our plan is just to kind of keep doing different things. We never really yeah. want to just kind of have a trajectory that's 45 degrees up all the time. We just want to <laughs> swim around and, and I, think, I think we've done everything that we've wanted to do so far. Obviously the first thing you ever release is you have to kind of put it out yourself unless you're lucky. You know, like just for someone to even hear it. And actually someone did hear that, a guy called Benjamin Patterson, who like kind of put us in contact with, with Anton and A Recordings. And like, do you know, it kind of, that was a wonderful release. We were really, really proud of that. And then, but then we, we, we immediately decided we would do something back in Ireland, like at Art for Blind or someone like that. We had another guy lined up actually, but it fell through, but delighted to go out with Art for Blind and then, like even just a month ago while my arm was broken we we just released like three kind of ambient tracks that we've done kind of on keys and some feedback and stuff just on the internet and just to make sure that we're 
I just, I, I don't think any of us are interested. We just don't want to do that thing. We don't want to, we just don't want to go up that slope in the industry yeah. like that. It's just so yeah. boring. I, it's just like you can see, you can even watch a band and you just see it, it kind of just jade, jades you. Like you're just, they're just like, please, please get us up on that other level, please. You know, yeah. there's that feeling. And I just, you know, sometimes I have that feeling because everyone wants to do well in a way, but you know, I really want to swim around, widen the experience, not just go up, you know, do you get what I mean? Yeah. With our music also, like, you know, yeah. hopefully, you know, I mean, we're only in the process of that, so it's not like we're, I'm not saying that we're ex succeeding at that, but that's what we're aiming to do within yeah, that of realm course, of things, yeah. you know, if you, you know. Yeah, and I mean, like, I mean, like you said to me before, you said, uh, we were talking about live situations, and you said that I'd love to play, I'd love to busk on the street and I'd love to play Wembley Stadium all in the one day, you know? And like, that's, that's an amazing thing. That's just, like, that is the noise coming from like an inspired and a fulfilled musician, like, you know what I mean? But like, is it difficult to, let's say, see yourself as a full-time musician and kind of avoid that kind of frustration or that thing of like, you need to survive as a musician as well. Like, you know, like, like are, you, are you ambitious like that? Or do you, or like, where do you kind of draw that balance, you know what I mean, of having ambition and not getting frustrated? Like, we're, amb we're ambitious musically, but I don't think any of us are careerists really. Yeah, that's you know, true. It's just, we want to get better at making music for ourselves, you know? Mm -hmm. And connect to people who, yeah, are, yeah. who feel like we do. Yeah. You know, that's the main objective, is that if the song feels strong enough to bring you band, yeah. and we work on it, and we record it, and we release it, all we want to do is get back to the same people that felt like us when we wrote the song. Yeah. You get what I mean? Yeah. That's, that's the interest. And kind of what you were saying about um, busking and then playing in... Sorry. Wimbledon? Wim Wembley. Wembley, right. <laughs> Wimbledon. Yeah, you know, yeah. Wimbledon would be good too. But it's, uh, you know, I think... One thing I feel really lucky about, lucky about is that we're a band that can play pretty small, crappy punk venues. And then kind of bigger, classier places. We played um, Pork Opera House, which is very different to a shitty DIY space. But to be able to do both is like really, really cool. And the music works in both places, you know? Yeah. Smoke your eyes. They were speaking to Ray Wingnut a mere moment ago. Hi, Ray. Hi, how's it going? It's going fine and dandy. Enjoying tonight's episode? Loving up tree, man. I'm doing my thing now. I'm getting used to it. I'm just pouring the drinks for the lovely people. I'm getting fired up on some red lemonade. Red lemonades. I hope that's all that's in there. It's lovely. That's all I'm having this week. Okay. Can't, can't speak for every week, though. That's for certain. And we got Russ and Gano family in the house. Russ and Gano, the homeboys right. out of Limerick. Yeah, absolutely brilliant stuff. Um, they're a special kind of crew of people and they're bringing something totally different. And I've seen them on big stages and I've seen them on small stages. I kind of followed them around like a weirdo for a year, you know, like, you know what I mean? But, um, but this is because their shows are so good and uh, the music they're putting out is so exciting and irresistible. So to have them here in the parlor is brilliant. Did you like the way earlier they played a song called Both Sides slash Raise the Bar? And now we have Ray 
raise at the bar. I thought that was. <laughs> that's, that good, that's good. That's good. That's good. And that's been because I'm reinventing the barman kind of style as well. You ask anybody out there, man. I was like, want a beer? Have a beer. It was revolutionary. <laughs> We're all doing something. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, sure, what else is there to say? Uh, we have the Rosangano family playing us out with struggle. Can we get hands collectively clapping, separating, and attaching again? <laughs> 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 When the mic's on, I'm a high cut, do it for the lost ones like Mike Brown. When the mic's on, I'm a high cut, do it for the lost ones like Mike Brown. When the mic's on, I'm a high cut, do it for the lost ones like Mike Brown. When the mic's on, I'm a high cut, do it for the lost ones like Mike Brown. Peace. When the mic's on, I'm a high cut, do it for the lost ones like Mike Brown. When the mic's on, I'm a high cut, do it for the lost ones like Mike Brown. When the mic's on, I'm a high cut, do it for the lost ones like Mike Brown. When the mic's on, I'm a high cut, do it for the lost ones like Mike Brown. For the last ones like my pals. When the mic's on, I'm a hack for the people. For the last ones like my pals. Peace. Struggle. For the people. For the migrants. Living illegal. Do it for the struggle. For the people. Yeah, I'm part of the refugees. When I do it for the struggle. For the people. For the migrants. Living illegal. Do it for the struggle. For the people. For the jobless. Damn near homeless. Do it for the struggle. For the people. For the migrants. Living illegal. Do it for the struggle. For the people. Yeah, I'm part of the refugees. When I do it for the struggle. For the people. For the migrants. Living illegal. Do it for the struggle. For the people. People. Jobless, damn it. Call me God knows or call me Jonna. Call me what you wanna, but I ain't, ain't no quitter. No Follow my movement, but not I'm on Twitter. Twitter. Man, don't tweet. Man, I just do it. Do it for the speechless, do it for the verses, do it for the secrets. You know what they ain't equal. Do it for the struggle. They are bound to the refugee. So deep in the mind of a foreigner. It's a struggle of feeling the fury of the races. I'm not too familiar. Whether it's silent, whether it's loud. Yeah, I'm black and I'm a black. Never used to be, but look at me now. I'm a base of my flaws. Like I ain't got a bed. I'm out of my mind. Like I ain't got a head. Do it for the struggle. For the people. For the migrants. Living illegal. Do it for the struggle. For the people. Yeah, I'm bound to the refugee. Do it for the struggle. For the people. For the migrants. Living illegal. Do it for the struggle. For the people. Homeless, damn near homeless, go for the struggle For the people like e flow deflate your ego, try wrong That's what it is, Negro, that way you can go back where you come from, I know Beat my lyrics in a silent flow, got my super box to fly low Don't smoke weed, I'm so high, you know Do it for the love, through logic, down, 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 I know Never wanna do it for the cream or the cheese, cause all cars were dry, can't I believe Lord, yeah, you took me from the outside But the racist got me feeling like a parasite